um, things have gotten pretty bad in terms of the car fire. And this is reminiscent of what happens in California quite often. And I'm not entirely convinced these are all natural wildfires, as we've seen some evidence of directed energy weapons, um, advanced tactical lasers. I don't buy that these are 100% kosher, especially some of the ones that broke out last year. I know, right? Christina. I can only play like freaking minute videos and even those things. Nothing but set some things aside here and get candid because something has not been right with these things for years. For years now, the governments around the world have admitted to something called stratospheric aerosol injections, solar radiation management, cloud seeding, the list goes on. I'll leave links in the description to videos I've done in the past covering this before. And if you don't recognize those names, you're probably familiar with the term chemtrails. Now this isn't going to be a video dedicated to that, but just know when you add desiccant to the air, Anything to the air that absorbs moisture, you contribute to the inhibition of hydrogen bond, drastically affecting precipitation. That's basically what happened in California. Drought stricken and shocked trees covered in nano alloys, notably aluminum. Now aluminum is the prime ingredient in these geoengineering initiatives because of its reflective properties. They use it to mitigate rays from the sun, so they say. Turns out aluminum is an incendiary ingredient of thermite and a host of others, which means it can cause fires to burn more rapidly and ignite more readily. In my opinion, that's probably one of the primary contributors to these fires. Another popular suspected contributor is directed energy weapons or advanced tactical lasers. Both are military-grade weapons and are no secret. I mean, Boeing has a 747 outfitted with a mega laser. You should check that out. My point is, when you look at the devastation of these fires, the aftermath, closely examine the pictures, listen to experts and those who actually spent their lives battling blazes, then you know something doesn't add up. They are burning us off the land. They want people in cities under centralized water, electricity, and so on. This is called sustainability. Even insurance companies are faltering on rebuilding some of the structures in these regularly ravaged areas. Agenda 21, Agenda 30, call it what you want. Have you ever had a neighbor's house go ablaze? I did. I called first responders and watched sheepishly until they arrived, unable to do much. What I didn't do was have to evacuate my neighborhood in such a haste I could barely get clothes on. And guess what? When the fire was through with this destruction, you could at least tell what kind of structure was standing there before. In these California fires, these buildings and homes are burnt to their foundations with hardly a chimney or a toilet remaining. Now tell me these supposed wildfires with now regular destruction patterns are natural. It's absolutely incredible. 